Hi folks, welcome back to the 8th region of Astros tournament. We are going to watch uh, the final game between Martel and Baratheon. That was uh, recorded by Connor while I was away. It's 4-3 in favor of Martel. It was 4 nil, but Bara won uh, the next 3 and they have a chance to actually get a draw from this match. And it's Alejandro playing uh, Kohor for Baratheon. Strong deck that's been nerfed a little bit, well, a little bit, quite a lot recently. Uh, against Ivalo playing the Many-Faced God, which also has been uh, errated, so you can't um, have an attachments character in the dead pile and just uh, make the Kohor lose all of their attachments. But uh, still, uh, it's still a deck, so we'll see how this one goes. So is this uh, more army or more um, sand snakes? Not so great my memory from that week, but I think we played mm -hmm. sand snakes here. Well, I have an inkling that you might have played armies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think uh, when this game was going on, I was playing uh, melee. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the, during the final table, the Slovenian Nationals. Uh, and On the two tables, yes, we committed to the final. <laughs> yes, and Sara didn't, so she could watch this one live. And cards on deck, so yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, that's a pretty crappy start for Bretton, honestly, no attachments in play. <laughs> it has Imri, who is not really super sackable in this uh, deck because you don't have that many locations, but it does have Shira to. Um, trade for something bigger. Uh, meanwhile, Livalo has a good setup, uh, basically, and it looks like uh, there is an army there, so okay. Yeah, I mean, I like the, the armies against. Um, I mean, I liked. Uh, uh, I thought armies were strong against the throne and chamber type decks because these guys um, actually mess up your stuff quite a lot, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I remember in Seven Kingdoms when we had that matchup. It wasn't good for us, but then randomly got the best possible draw. Oh, come on. I yeah. played it expertly and won. By skill, yes. No mm -hmm. luck involved. I played it well. Defended against most of the, um, most of the yeah, King's I mean, Landing mob. Um, it is true, it is true, I was saying, but... Um, also, I think what Adrian, who played that, could have gotten something else and not every single um, squire or whatever. That's true. So, and does find Robert. Robert. Yeah, and um, they, they're they not convinced by the core Robert thing that this one's still the game winning one. Yeah, core Robert. Uh doesn't get as much power but has printed intimidate which now it's a little, little more difficult to get without warhammers so yeah, i don't I think mean, you can get it at all now basically unless uh, warhammer is the restricted card and it's not uh, so highly born you, you can you can take um king robert's warhammer and have quasi intimidate mm -hmm. for a little bit um and secret pact well secret pact is um how do you say? Uh, it's not so problematic if you have a Zora High, right? It's, um, mm -hmm. yeah, it doesn't you can, stop uh, from being a participating character. Yeah, but in the short so, term, I mean, there's uh, Celis term, is not yeah. even here, so he might struggle to attack now. But yeah, um, not so much when we get, um, when we get, when Bara gets uh, Zora High Reborn. Uh, in the run's mm -hmm. name, quite useful to get additional gold. We set up some more econ gold left over. So, not going too badly. Oof, but these guys that come in for free, they're not reward shots, though. Yeah, I think. Um, I don't know how I feel about uh, having uh, these guys in cohort. I think you can't have two diluted deck with, uh, with stuff like this, but I think. Um, it is the draw is helpful. I mean, not having draw, uh, it does cost you sometimes in this Kuharan decks. What I actually find the most annoying with the core rover uh, over this one is 
This one now has a good reset, right? You can keep him and the reducer and red priest, or you can keep him and two other chats, or if you march a Cilicia at any point, you can keep Cilicia and him. Versus the seven cost, it's so awkward. That's the same with Stannis, so I think um, the slightly better the Harris is uh, uh, sometimes quite important. Well, uh, we have Red Priest removing Dornish Spy. Dornish Spy wasn't gonna come in this round. And mm. I wonder what the reset is here. And still no... Is there going to be no attachments? Hunting accident. Oh, hunting accident. Okay, that's going to be probably eventually traded for something more uh, constructive. But for the moment it's on Ricasso. Yeah, not great start for Kohor, honestly. I mean, there's some good stuff in play, but... It's not quite what you need when playing this deck, I think. Yeah, on the other hand, we have nothing uh, on the board that achieves anything, basically. So, <laughs> uh, we can do yeah. three challenges simply because Bara might be forced to defend them due to Brand the Builder being revealed. Yeah, I mean, definitely this one can do a challenge, then you potentially sack him if you want to stop some challenges, but... So what's the plan? Okay, Dorn. That's good for the long game, but fast uh, Robert is pretty fast. Are we going to attack into him? While well, he has Secret Pact is the question. I don't think so. So Ricasso is strength 3, so we can attack 7, which would mean all the power icons have to kneel to win on defense, but then you still win two challenges back. Yeah, but why even care about power? Yeah, because of the brand the builder trigger, I mean. If you're searching for something Maybe. else. What you could do is do a military challenge and if proper defense and triggers, then try to win the power. Yeah, then we could win power, yes, that's true. Okay, we're not doing anything. Okay, so if we leave this one, then power can't be pushed through and uh, Although if we need Ricasso, it will make it less tempting for Bara to trade that hunting accident for uh, something like um, Red God's Blessing. And Lord Dante's host was potentially a decent one, although Bara Kohar, I mean, the ones we used to play a lot, have um, uh, supporting the faith. Supporting there and, was um, Baring in one version I, as well, and King in the North. I play Baring as well and King in the North, yeah, I think those are pretty... Keep plot, especially against Martel, I would keep them. I think when we tested that, that's going to be quite good. Ooh, has Sweet Sleep. Sweet Sleep. It's... Yeah, one copy of Sweet Sleep <laughs> is uh, sometimes in Kohor. Uh, you can't trade it for anything else, so it's a bit awkward. And uh, of course you Sweet Sleep Robert, so now he's not getting a Zora High Reborn. You'd have to uh, well... straight Sweet Sleep out and not trade it for anything. Yeah, you have to set switch sleep, but I think probably you do it right if you get the Zora. Yeah, you, you can do it, yeah. The secret pack's still there, so can't naturally go into a challenge. And if you play Morghulis and clear all the chads. Hmm. And now this is, yeah, I mean, this is honestly... just a free brand the builder trigger, is it not? Yeah, but gets them done, I guess. Happy to trade it in a super rushy deck. Uh, but now if you get, I think a really good one to get would be... Okay, go down, that's not the one that I was thinking of, uh, but... Um, help me out. <laughs> um, what? The bouncy. The bouncy location. Gaston Grey? Uh, Gaston Grey, yeah, Gaston Grey. <laughs> uh, yeah. Gaston Grey, I mean, there's probably ways to deal with it, but... Um, 
yeah, there's king in the north, uh, the smith, or um, just seized, I think, as possibilities. Yeah, but right now doesn't even have an attachment to trade, and um, actually, I mean, I played games like this when this is like my board state, and then you get a Morgulis, for example, her, maybe the Harris, and if you didn't treat draw good, if you have now like one or two attachments in hand, and um, you don't have deck characters, I don't know, it can just um, stop you in your track. So King in the North okay. now to stop stuff, and we have Varys' Riddle wasn't gonna copy anything in this matchup, probably was trying to hit some exchange or something. Um, we Can't go second, yeah, I mean, against Bara, whatever it was going to be, I'm not sure we were expecting oh, yeah, yeah. And there's Stannis, so now uh, we have... Um, well, let's see if he comes with any attachments. There's okay, finishes marshalling. No, no gold. Can't no trade anything, so yeah. Morgulis just kills everything, and Harris is also not bad now because you lose this investment. Uh, what we can do, of course, uh, eventually now there's King in the North that's stopping us, but uh, we could have done Gull Town and then our um, um, what is it, uh, Starfall Cavalry can immediately draw three. And host of the Boneway would get plus what five, uh, plus five strength, which is great. Um, Bara cohort does play without locations, so uh, like a ten percent chance there's political disaster. But I would not dupe Gal Town. There's no need. Nothing's gonna happen mm. to it. Just keep it uh, for um, claim soak. Okay, two cards in hand, although it's not the worst thing. Intrigue we can kind of defend always until some attachments come in, but as we said, nothing you can do at the moment with that. Yeah. I think you let this through. It means it's um Kohor's not triggerable, so you can uh, kill Green Blood Trader in theory. You can defend everything also, except for probably for power. Yeah, I mean if you are going to reset next round, but maybe not, because um, I don't know if there's gonna be huge power gain right now. But if you reset next round, I think maybe you could have put um, that uh, wind blown in shadows instead. Mm -hmm. I think this one will be defended as well. And now Robert and Stannis probably do power, or maybe just the one, is the one enough? Yeah, so Robert does power, Stannis Robert. throws even Robert's attacking, right? Robert has secret pact, oh, he has sweet sleep, oh, sorry, sweet sorry, 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 yeah, okay. Yeah, so that, and you can block military or power, so... Or are you getting intrigue through? I think uh, Shadow City Buster defends. Then yeah. Grimblood Trader does intrigue. That's mm -hmm. all that happens, right? Probably. Yeah, didn't need the draw, but okay. It's not a disaster, we still have a good reset, potentially. Power gain is not that huge, although I think we need to, if there's Morgulis, we need to um, play it before bodyguards come into play. Yeah, I mean, Morgulis is not great for you, to be honest. Because you have two cards in hand, right? So, mm -hmm. it's not like you have great advantage, I think, to Harris, maybe.
good one. Mm, so this is a good hit, yeah. Well, 7 1, it's not pleasant. But if we have the Harris, we're still in the game. Even without any attachments, Barra just yeah, goes quickly just by doing mini, uh, doing power with um, the renowned guy. That's how we lost uh, the previous game, I think, basically. I mean, if the reset is the highest, I think you can probably wait another round. Not sure if... Um... I'd play it now. Have to keep uh, Robert Red Priest in one reducer. It's not a great board. By the way, if you don't reset and there's a sort of high in hand, uh, it's just game over. 7 to 15, you can do that. Okay, and we play mm -hmm. it into the draw plot, so I guess you were right. Could have delayed it, but I think uh, it is potentially game over. It's no joke, because uh, you put a sort of high, then you sack Sweet Sleep, and he's immediately in that challenge. And um, he gets uh, potentially 5 power. Plus power claim that's uh, you're already on 13 and uh, Stannis can get the Lightbringer and that's it. Yeah, but um, maybe. If you think you can close, you could even keep Imri. Yeah, not sure you can. I think we go second. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like there's gonna be much intimidate. There is not even Maiden being played, so um, no fight for initiative. Unless you have um, a post of the bone way, right? Mm -hmm. And you can intimidate. That would be good for you. Well, we lose the big power icon, which is not great, but everything else gets to stay. <laughs> big power icon. <laughs> Barra laughs at that thought, but yeah, four, four strength power icon. Mm -hmm. Now, if Barra does challenges, it's Late Summer Fist and Dorn available. Yeah, but... Um... I mean, Duran's game is, is at five, mm -hmm. by the way, so if that's our plan... We're two Durans games away from just being on the verge of victory ourselves. Yeah. Well, this well, that guy is was... not a smart use of reducer. That guy was pretty, yeah, so. Hmm. Melisandre is a good draw. Yeah, going first with host to the bone I would have sucked. <laughs> Lots of stuff yeah, going that's in. That's really good draw for after the Harris. Yeah, but no attachment. Yeah, but um There's one. It's not a Zora High though. Should have had two mm. more gold, by the way. Not that he even spent any. Uh, I mean, the King's Road still there, and the uh, reduction could have been higher, so... I mean, you could have just kept the reducer standing. Mir goes on Melisandre. For now, Did that's okay. Could have gone on Robert, I mean, he has sweet sleep, but that keeps him permanently... Uh, I would be tempted yeah, to do that. <laughs> yeah, for the but moment he's just... Uh, there is annoying if you plan to do some uh, intimidate and stuff. Okay, we just get a couple more bodies and that's it. We can redraw a lot though, so just 
not don't concede too much power. So by the way, guys, here is the point where I have to leave for a couple of minutes. I am cooking and it needs to be attended to. So I'll leave you with Sarah. Okay. So immediately triggers Shadow City Buster to take Marisandra's icons. You're still able to push challenges through, but not intrigue now. Uh, intrigue does. Um, intrigue just trades one wind blown for the other, I think. Um, I mean, unless the last card is completely useless, you might as well defend. Not sure if there's any tricks during challenges for um, Cooper. Mm -hmm. There's still wind power, but then you get many challenges back. Yeah, it's um... Okay, it's so... Dilemma, I guess. What happened with the Shadow City Bastard? Okay, taking Melisandre's icons. Melisandre immediately and then... Um, intrigue, defense and wind blow to trade for the other. So now, like the situation, you can push through a power challenge if you really want to. But then you're gonna get a few challenges back, all three, I think. Yeah, I think we need to lose one though for Dorn and Late Summer Fist, if we can. Shame it's uh, the one Robert's attacking in. And I don't know, Red gets Blessing, I mean... Can be traded for what? Milk Hunting Accident. Light, Lightbringer, ooh. A Lightbringer can't be used now. Because of Fit Slip still. Yeah. That's true. You defend, you can stand again. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. I think so far this is good for you. And we can defend this as well. Uh, if we wanted to well, maybe you lose can one. I can leave this because this now, I mean, this is three unopposed back. Mm -hmm. I would consider just leaving this one, taking Dorn and taking Late Summer Fist. Yeah. Not too scared of what the Red yeah, God's Blessing could be trapped for. I think probably nothing so impactful. <laughs> Seized maybe on Dorn. Okay, we oppose. It looks like we're not interested in doing military back. I guess that's fair enough. We can do any combination of challenges because there's a there's a dead reducer on top of the dead pile. Oh, of course, yeah. Let's see. See, it would last for two rounds, but uh, already some cards have been drawn. Disputed claim, okay, to get uh, some more speed. 
Mm. Makes sense as well. Now we get rid of the last card and we do power to claw it back yeah. a little bit. And then things are looking alright. If we also had Wildfire Assault to clear the chads away. Okay, 3 on 3, Barra's 3 are still pretty decent to be fair, but uh, it's not 3 on 3, it's, uh, we have 2 more in Shadows. Yeah, I mean, two wind blows, right? Yeah. Hopefully no barring or... Ooh, do we sack? No. No, I don't think you can afford to sack in your big power icon. Yeah, so barring or supporting the fate would be supporting the fate. You can bring out stuff in ch in marshalling, but barring is quite harsh. Also, rationing is an option against Martel. It's pretty good, and Kohor can play with. Um, there is a little bit of uh, triggers after you win, but not that much. And uh, we hit uh, really well here, stopping Winter Festival. And uh, okay, that's Ludicon. not what I would expect. In Kohar deck. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you have games where you get a lot of power, then it starts slowing down and you can't push stuff through. But usually Winter Festival doesn't um, solve it. Maybe. Maybe there is a game where that... Uh, yeah, I mean, good. I would prefer barring here. <laughs> Yeah, in Martel, I think uh, Winter Festival, there's a lot of summer plots. Not sure if it's. Well, I don't know. Oof, that's harsh. Yeah. Could do with accounting coppers. Well, no Zoro High Reborn, so characters are only. I mean, there's uh, four worthless ones that are in the middle and uh, three that can do stuff, and we can match that. Mm hmm. Gold for one wind blown and two more. Okay. And, um, Water Garden is still there, so if Princess Plan is available, that is uh, plus seven and any icon. So then Bara is done as far as <laughs> pushing anything through is concerned, I think. For instance, you can give the army plus seven and power icon and bring Windblown out to have it in multiple challenges. To try to throw them all in the same challenge, power challenge with Robert and Silicis renown. Okay. Well, just the two of them. This can be defended. This can be easily defended, just um, yeah, just even with the agenda. On the board. Yeah. 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 yeah.
<laughs> by seven. <laughs> yeah, that might have been one to keep in hand if um, you're winning anyway, but okay, actually. The problem that you have is you can't, um, you can't take it back this round. Why did he give plus 10 to, or plus 7 to Windblown? Uh, now goes back and that's yeah, things wasted. Yeah, I mean, but, but. he wouldn't have participated in the power challenge, but you could give it power icon with the agenda. Uh, I think I'd, I'd give it plus 7 just to the mob, for instance, or to the star for cavalry, defend. And then windblown yeah, wins a different cavalry, challenge. You have power icon and strength on cavalry. That's tricon with like 11 strength. And now princess plan is in the discard pile and there's no goal to retrieve it. Yeah. Even keeping two extra gold um, instead of Doing another shadow card may be better. Well. I think you have to defend this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, because the character on the top of the dead pile is uh, good, currently has a power icon, you don't want I to mean, kill the... I mean, there's another right there ready to die. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want, I mean, you'd claim green blood trader, for instance. Uh, okay, you could uh, you could claim the reducer, yeah, right. Get uh, Dorn again. But now you can't defend um, Intrigue, really. Mm -hmm. uh, battery Hunter doesn't do it. Does he want to defend power? How much does he have? Seven? So uh, no. Enough. No, okay. If well, you go with everything... Let's just do... yeah, okay. Mm, okay, I think Melisandre may as well defend now. <laughs> Is the last card worth keeping? Although now, now we do, um, we, now we can actually do military as well. So, yeah. I think we could have done all three back. Uh, with the more precise uh, sequence here. Yeah, and I think maybe keep some of your resources for later as well. Unless there's a surprise strength boost, we should be okay here on the power challenge. There could yeah, be... Um, before, I don't think much surprises, except maybe another... Um, hunting accident can come hunting in. Hunting accident, yeah, is the only thing that I can think of. Water dancer sword would work. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Well... It's not out of the question, right? <laughs> To have it in a deck. Nine five, and we are doing well now. Yeah. But the top decking. Okay, winner, you die. We do have one reserve. Yeah, and I don't know, maybe have some drone or something like that in the deck. Yeah, I can pu push through to claim power maybe. I think we go second again. Unless there's host to the bottom. I think so. I mean, it looks um, like not so much um, threat going second. Yeah.
Yeah. And they don't want to have you win or that pin, I guess. Is there going to be um Mad King's command in this battle deck? I think probably. <laughs> yeah, has to be. So I think if Ivar wants to use the high road, I don't think he does. Yeah, I mean. And now there's a Renal and a G uh, and the body that five strength two icons and can stand so it's not on Robert but it's not the worst here you could have put it on Robert and uh, traded sweet sleep, sweet sleep in theory uh, then he gets uh, secret packed back so it doesn't work out super well and you it's, it's also a question of actually being able to push challenges through power is the biggest one but uh, if Ivalo marshals host of the Boneway and triggers the agenda, then that's even that's not happening. Up. Oh, okay. Actions. That, that, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely um. But, uh, but I had the first one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it looked like he was already triggering it. <laughs> it's not saying anything. Uh, yeah, okay. Should, should nail the fifth. Yeah, maybe. yeah. <laughs> no? Okay. Will maybe. you have another dramatic moment? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Ivalo has realized what's going on, but uh, yeah, Alejandro did wait a little bit uh, after needing water gardens in case high road would be used. Then didn't didn't actually uh, need it, but uh, he has a point. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. He doesn't have a huge number of uh, attachments, and yeah. I don't know. This comes in, and then also potentially um, something like uh, Gaston Gray. I would also say if that. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, doesn't look like it might. Uh, it's going to matter that much. Is anything else even coming in? Well, actually, it might matter. There's uh, two wind blows worth of gold. It should have been six, and that's it. Hmm. Ah, 18 minutes on the timer, I have to cook. Is there um, something wrong with the game? No, looks like it's... Maybe while I was thinking what's going on with uh, what king, what fiefdom <laughs> or something, I don't know. Yeah, maybe he has some um, other problems with all of this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you did have a polite interaction with drama <laughs> this time. Good. <laughs> what are you saying? Are you saying that we are not a very uh, sportsman-like team? <laughs> No, no, nothing of that sort. <laughs> we let um, our opponent trigger siege preparations once in standing phase costs the game, so... <laughs> That's true. Not even let him trigger it, reminding him. 
<laughs> they should definitely trigger it. Mm -hmm. Well, bef uh, before uh, Vilo finishes, let's count. So the power situation. 16 on attack if you use the agenda. Well, okay. Okay. Make that you 11 on attack. So, Robert's power icon. Makes sense. We yes. also have 11 if we use the agenda to give star for uh, cavalry, the power icon. So, missing a little bit. Princess plan would have been plus, n <laughs> plus 8. Maybe it would be nice to lose a challenge. <laughs> well, do we have um, a way to win this? Seems like it could be important, although more important is to actually win the power back on the two claim. Just don't lose in the meantime. Because see this is gonna have renown and lightbringer trigger here. And then you could get red god's blessing for the strength increase. Although how many attachments there's still just just the lightbringer to trade away, so yeah. Not ideal. Because you're basically giving up on getting that um Okay, we Princess have. Plan back. Uh, well, I mean, it's yeah. this, this round. It's um, one important. reserve yeah. uh, on your winner to die. So I don't know how. Yeah. Whether it should really be in hand, but he does have this, which is okay. Uh, the, he should be doing the um, the agenda on wind and uh, the strength on the cavalry. Yes. I was telling you about that while you were playing Mela. You didn't listen to me. <laughs> no, I was busy. Uh, but won't make that much difference because I think we can defend Robert's yeah. challenge and still do a power back. Even if uh, um, Hunter passes, it's still good. So it's just slightly um, imprecise and. Um, yeah, I mean, but now if he does military with Robert and you might want to block it, you have to spend two defenders. Otherwise, yeah, but we can one, still win. Still have... We still win all three challenges back, I think, easily. Okay, power is the most important. It's just unopposed anyway. Mm, what else? So intrigue is needs the two green blood traders then military has seven and we have seven yeah we can do all three unopposed just uh, probably not gonna win dominance no not unopposed we can do all three i mean could start military to see what gets claimed with uh, red priest in play you win red turn is a good time to claim it potentially Yeah, that's true. Power first. So do you um consider sacking this guy now? Because I think maybe next round uh bad, bad things comment. <laughs> mm, I don't know. We do get ahead though. Well, I guess not because I don't think you're even asserting the... anything. Mm, 
dupes or not dupes? Nothing good reason to. <laughs> there's no good reason to risk that one. Okay, sex the reducers. There's two kings routes in, in play. And uh, this one pretty easy as well. We'll get rid of the last card. Let's see what it was. Was it a limited? Yeah. Harsh for Alejandro. Missandra still milked. And uh, but next round actually now our um, princess plan and such goes down to only three. three yes. Still not bad, but uh, this was our big round where we did uh, the most damage. King's command for Bara coming. Ooh, Lord Anders is host, if interesting. In Imagine having that available. Play on Silesi on the Mad King's command. Okay, what do we do with um, this? Uh, we hit uh, Silesi maybe? Yeah, surely. I mean, mm -hmm. why hit Robert? Okay, I will attend to my food, then I'll be back to see what's been marshaled. Duke for the castle is not too bad. I mean, I don't know. Mm. I think you probably, unless you have um, the Intimidate army, you're probably keeping what you have in play. And saving the gold for wind blowns and so on. Yeah, makes sense. And let's see if Barak is something good. Questionable if you want to keep um, Red Priest, you have to get rid of the Milk Melisandre, probably. Mm, and Stannis, so are you keeping now Red Priest, Stannis and Robert, or are you keeping... Celisi? And um, the location situation for Martel. I think you want to keep. Um, you want to keep Galtown. I think probably keep Galtown and Doran. Or maybe Doran can go. It's a bit late. I, I don't know. Depends what's in hand, I guess. Or actually, hand will probably go. Mm -hmm. Do keep Dorn and Water Garden says the only icon. I mean, actually, Garden is also icon, so not too bad. So I guess now you do want to lose a challenge, 
to get um, Princess Plan back. I, ha I mean, you can't lose the intrigue and get the Princess Plan back, but if, uh, if military is initiated, I think I would let that through. Okay, anything new in play? Stannis, okay. Yeah, Stannis comes in and um, I'm just thinking, so... Um, now I would try to lose a military challenge maybe to get that princess plan back for... Um, I don't know if there's next round. Yeah, and we have all the the gold for the wind loans still here. And Bara yeah. has no attachments, so... Again, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You can take the dupe. Yeah, I would as well, I think, because um, you don't want that princess plan back. Mm -hmm. But then do you now do intrigue? And then you concede uh, the power challenge. Yeah, I mean, you can do intrigue. Can you, you can do power on attack, although that fits Stannis twice. No, it doesn't fit him twice because you can win the other power, right? To win Blown I Agenda and Princess Plan, or maybe you can't. My thinking is I wouldn't do more challenges here and. Um, I mean, you can't defend power, to be fair. And, um... Mm. I mean, if there was a card that was valuable in hand, you would have marshaled it, right? Possibly. Is it going to be Ricasso to force a defender? could do it with both and force two defenders uh, or Barra loses it, um, then you are on whatever 11 power to 6 and uh, Barra does challenges back and you take Princess Plan and Wind Blown uh, comes in, in theory. It's not a disaster. Okay, nothing else done like you suggested. No attachments to trade. So, and no cards in hand, you can let it, let it please do Intrigue and it's, there's no penalty. Well, actually there is, you can take Princess Plan back on the Intrigue challenge because it's immediately discarded. Yeah, I think it's a good um, policy to say, okay, we're getting one more round so you can think clearly and then if it goes to time, just play on, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. Although if someone needs to think and spends three minutes, why? Well... Yeah, the problem is, I mean, they're going to be ahead. You think? Yeah, I mean, you can push power for sure. So if you wanted to think for a really long time and then just push a power, you win, right? Okay, not giving Princess plan and Doran triggers, just passing and taking dominance and going to see what next round brings. Interesting. Okay, uh, so uses... Yeah, Econ's cool. mostly gone, so Ivalo doesn't want to uh, pay for that much stuff next round. Yeah, uh, but you could just... Um... Do uh, um, the hair is alright? How does uh, I don't know the cost of these characters and I can't see on the screen. I'm well, sorry. if you do the hair is then Starfall Cavalry is gone anyway. Ah, yeah, okay. I, 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 what are they? Three, four, six, and, and three? three, yeah. Uh, six, seven, okay. Okay, Econ and hoping to top deck against. <laughs> naval? No. Actually, Naval would suck because you have 5 gold still. No Harris, okay. Good call. Uh, 
I remember reading uh, in our Discord after this game there was some talk that uh, should have played just King in the North here uh, to give himself a chance. Yep, I definitely think that could be better. Although I think I do remember <laughs> some spoilers for why it might be not happening. Well, we are first somehow. And uh, do well, we you are have... first because you open with behest and not. Um... Yeah, I know. We keep our gold for shadow stuff, okay. And behest gives you one extra plot, but. Is a good one, unfortunately. It would be more important. What you going Do to you need a wind plan? Mm. Yeah. Anything else? Oof, and another mm -hmm. character seized on the Econ. That's now finally the first good top deck that Alejandro has had. Yeah. yeah. But is it enough? Oof, we do have the Econ, so probably not then. Yeah, but um, you stop your agenda trigger. That's true. Could have done that okay. uh, previous round as well for... Um, uh, actually, was it already... Um, what was the situation previous round? Was it already... The plots have already uh, cycled, right? Wasn't the, the, mm -hmm. the five gold or whatever? Well, um, Shadow City Bastard, now do you defend the challenge with it or do you use it immediately? Oh, you're the first player, sorry. Okay, so you definitely use it before before it uh, sacks itself. So, Bara has no way to stand Robert, so he will trigger. Yeah, you... If he defends, he triggers once. That's the one power they gain, and they can gain power by winning a power challenge or any other post. So you just need to. What I would do, get ahead. I think, do intrigue with that um, bastard because it's going to sack itself. And if Bara doesn't want to give you Princess Plan, has to leave it unopposed. So you get one power of that. Ooh, but we got an additional character. Ah, mm, okay. uh, it's it's a character <laughs> that's standing. So we have five characters against four, and we have uh, one that's going to make Melisandre irrelevant, I guess. You could have done you win or die instead of the Harris, maybe I don't know, but uh, that's. If you're first player, you know, try to push, but... Mm. Okay, intrigue with Shadow City Bastard, we said. Yeah, that's my thinking. We can do all the challenges and we can use Windblown to still have basically three characters standing. If Bara leaves everything unopposed, uh, we'll get a bunch of power, then Bara can... We can oppose most, we can lose uh, power with double renown, but I don't think it catches up. Plus, Princess Plan happens at some point. Um, yeah. Okay, I have to go again, sorry. I'll be back in a minute. Well, it's a really important part of the game.
Yeah, so I remember this um, watching this uh, live and uh, I think some misplays being made here potentially. Okay, what have you done? Well, you did the correct intrigue. Mm -hmm. And now you are uh, sacking the Shadow City Bastard and that is really an obvious call. Sure, Melisandre. Yes. There's two military icons, okay, so if you take the icons of Red Priest, you force Robert to kneel on the military, or it's unopposed. Or you don't even defend military, you can kill one of them, as long as you can push power through and not get that princess plan back in hand, I think. If Red Priest dies, uh, Dornish Spy comes in also, right? Mm -hmm. That can be ambushed to take uh, Robert's power icon or whatever, I mean, it's not great. It's not great, Windblown still available. Uh, claims the other one because of the Dornish Spy. Yeah. So two characters now. It's eleven eight. And now, if we do power with poor fellows and it's defended by Robert, he gets his double renown. It's ten, ten eleven, and they're dumb. So I think they're dumb. Yes, they're dumb. So that's not good. We can do power with... Oof, okay. You can't do power. You're losing power now. So that's it, we're going to defend. But uh, Barra just... Defend even. Barra just does power now, right? I think... Well, the only thing is... You do power... Um... With poor fellows, okay, gets them on 10, but then you have Princess Plan, but that's actually... Doesn't matter, yeah. yeah. Well, we can't successfully defend against 9 now, that's really bad, and there's going to be power claim and double renown. We c can win dominance, but uh, we are losing on cards in deck, cards. drawing here as well. I mean, we are way past, uh, it's four cards different, so it doesn't matter. Uh, any magic? I don't think so. No, nothing you can do at this point to make you not lose, unless you get less to the Giants Varys or something. Eh, but no gold. Well, Melisandre should have lost the power icon, that's for sure. Yeah, and I think he won, he would have won with that. Yeah. Well, I knew this was going to be difficult to watch because I've heard uh, reports of how this game ended. It was basically a missed win. But yeah, that, that really wasn't a good, um, good trigger for, um, for Shadow City Bastard in the end. Uh, I think the video is actually about to end. Uh, oh, okay. Very soon, so, so there we are. That means you lost the battle match, or actually drawn from a successful four win start. Yeah, rough, rough um, game in the end to lose because we really did have it, and but um, all of those princess plans played in kind of the, the wrong way and not in the character that was going to uh, stand and then overused so that it wasn't in hand that uh, <laughs> was not ideal plus the yeah I mean the Harris was fair enough but uh, Barra marshaled a lot marshaled Melisandre we, we 
we could have played also um, you win or you die to try to get uh, to claim power. The other challenges I think there was enough enough to absorb the military claim as well. So, but no host of the g uh, the bone way all game, which also was rough. On the other hand, we can't complain because Alejandro drew absolutely yeah. nothing great in terms of attachments. I assume he has to have also seal of the hand uh, on top of us or Harry Bourne to um, do those trades. So. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I think um, it was rough draw, but also I think uh, I think the plots I didn't like. I have some strong opinions about that uh, with um, Barack Obama. I think if he had instead of the festival and the, the late summer feast, if he had two more um, impactful plots like supporting or barring, mm -hmm. it would also help a lot. Yeah, so there we are. Uh, I mean, uh, it's more than a week uh, since then, so I've got over it, but uh, it's 4 4 now in the Barra uh, Martel match. Unfortunately, it's a draw, and that means we lose our uh, most of our advantage. We would have been, uh, I think, about 15 or 10 points clear of everyone in the tournament, but now, uh, yeah, just, uh, just 5 points, which means a single. Um, I mean, it's a difference between a win and a draw. Uh, those five points so it is what it is so um we'll be back with uh, videos from round five next so thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye